Hello, my fellow car models. How are you doing today? I got another Christmas present. And that time of the month for the... the heck, I'll show you the bottom. See what that says so we know what it is. Kid of the month time. And no secret what it is. And I'm going to put myself a little Christmas swing into this one. Not so much a Christmas special. I think we've done that to death, but... I was told that there's something a little special here. Chris said he got... Uh, Carmine and Aaron to make sure there's something in here for me, so we're gonna see. But the big thing we gotta see first, well, you know, when we get back after the music, let's see if they put it right in the box. Should should I give it a try opening it up upside down and see what happens? And yeah, we're just gonna we'll do it like this. Well, one thing I will say, I'm excited about this one. When it was announced, it's cool. And where it fits perfect, when you look at it, I don't know if they intentionally do this, but for some reason, this kit has a Christmas vibe to it. The whole box, the box art has a Christmas vibe. And I'm sure there's something Christmassy in here for me. And let's see how Carmine and Aaron did, but they were under Chris's supervision on this one because Chris said, I got something special in here. Guys, come on. Oh boy. Look at that. Check out them stickers. Those are pretty cool. Ah, uh, got doubled up. That's great. Thank you. But you did get my, my kid in upside down. Come on. Come on! <laughs> uh, you were, Carmine, Aaron, you were listening to Chris. He was giggling, wasn't he, when you guys packed this for me. See what I'm saying? Look at that. Just look at the Junior Johnson racing right there. And this car I am excited about. This is very cool. I'm looking forward to taking a look at it. That's very Christmassy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring in the music. So that's cool. Let's take this, we'll get this box out of the way. We're gonna look at the, the decals here in a minute, but let's just take in this box. Yep, Merry Christmas. Well, there's a couple things about this. First of all, what gets me excited, and I'm telling you guys, thank you for these stickers. Those are cool, man. Look at that. I think that's uh, Jim's artwork there. A oh, Hemi, all oh, blown apart. A model car Hemi, mind you. Those are cool. I like it. I like those. Going into the collection. Uh, so, first of all, why I get so excited about this is Darrell Waltrip. Darrell Waltrip is my absolute, total, favoritist NASCAR driver. I am not a fan of too many people, too many drivers, too many whatevers. But Darrell Waltrip has one that I have been a fan since the 80s. I don't care how many people hated him. I don't care if you called him Jaws. I don't care if you called him the Bristol Chicken Bone King. Whatever. Boy, oh, man, he was hated back in these days. Hated! Especially in Bristol. God, kept winning. They hated him because he was winning. Anyways, this is a very cool kit because you might think, Ah, uh, Monogram done that kit, and then they re-released it again. And yeah, you guess what I got right here? Check this out. I just happen to have this sitting by, and we'll talk a little bit about it. No, no, no. This is the 81 car. Monogram always put out the 82 car, and there are differences. But there's something else that's cool about this one. On the box art, which yeah, I'm going to show you some things that's cool. Normally, these monogram tooled up bodies and, and stuff that, they, that monogram did, and now Salvino's, thank you, Salvino's JR models, brought them back, rescued these molds. So we can keep getting these Buicks, and I love these Buicks. I got way too many of them. Never have too many of them, what I'm saying. Crazy. Anyways, if you look at the picture on here, what's so cool about it, this looks like this is a, a, I don't know what track they're at, but it's probably an intermediate or a short track that is not a super speedway car. That's not a Daytona car. So it's got flat sides 
and it just bubbles right there. I don't know if you can see, it's just bubbled. That's interesting. <laughs> and I'm trying to come up a way to do that on these bodies and get rid of that swooping flare, which, you know, we love the swooping flares, and I'm glad that's how they did them. You want that. The majority of the cars had that, and but I always love this kind of pounded out, a little more barn made. <laughs> no offense but uh yeah that's a that's a, more of like a short track car right there which daryl was the king of i would like to recreate this car the 81 car with those type of flares but that's for another day that's for another video we'll figure that one out later we're gonna open this up i i, I do want i want to take a look at this i love that box art i'm just i'm digging the box art. i'm just kind of looking at it going oh it's a great shot there's there's other great models that Savino's JR models put out but I am digging this box art I got real excited when they showed that they grabbed a really cool picture a unique picture but before we open this up I'm gonna take a look at the extra decals you get because remember Builders Club you join the Builders Club for the price of a model kit and the delivery you get not only the model kit and you get it before anybody else does you get extra set of decals we're going to be taking a good look at this i've been waiting to see these get an extra set of decals of the kit that you got and you get a couple extras thrown in there sometimes something really cool but you know i just love decals and decals can be like you know about forty dollars or something like that thirty but what no twenty bucks right twenty i gotta be going nuts anyway let, let's even say ten you're still getting like oh there's three in here that's 30 more dollars worth of decals and then you get cool sticker we're gonna look at that in a moment oh oh this is bizarre thank you so much for sending this to me i was needing this decal sheet i was just digging through my decals looking for something to make this video and i go you know what i don't i have the 12s but i don't have the 11 which is old dw dollar wall trips car oh there it is there it is Dar Walter. Good day. I want to do this car really bad, and I've been waiting for the perfect set of decals. And there we go. I got the decals. Perfect set of decals. And I have got quite a few of these, but decals are always good to have. Because if you got decals like this, you can always be trading them off to your friends for something else, or just be a good buddy and hand it over to a friend. Oh, yeah, this is what I've been waiting for. We get the Christmas the Christmas sticker. What I usually do with mine is I pop a little hole right there and put a hook in it and I hang it on the tree. Yeah, just like that. And it looks nice right up next to last year's. Thank you very much, fellas. I love that. Love it. All right. We're going to take a look at that decal sheet real quick because as long as it's out of the box here, check this out. I was wondering how it is and if you can I don't know if you can see if it registers it has a slight just a slight metal flake to it very slight metal flake and it's just got that dark green hue every time monogram made these decals they just never got it right and then aftermarket decals were made and they tried different things like this and that and there were some pretty good ones the thing is is there's always been this thing whether this car had metal flake green or fl uh, just a dark green and i really think it depended on the car and the race might have been one way or the i think they did it both ways um i don't know i never saw the actual car i never went to a nascar race till the late 80s so i never saw this car run so i have no no opinion we're going to do a comparison here real quick because what we always had in the past from this kit when monogram put it out is they just did they did kind of like a I don't know, brighter green which was always wrong but real quick i just want to you can kind of see it on the box here real quick again we're going to take a look at that this is an original kit unfortunately i don't have the decals in it see and there's something you know i want to show you guys about this a little later but this is an original one i didn't have the decals because i built the 81 and the 82 car 
kind of sort of or at least I, ha- I had them yeah you know they're actually in my junkyards now they didn't they didn't make it over the years i did these in the early 90s and the thing was was i don't have the original decals i have a remnants of an original decal which is useful and then they repop this kit monogram that is we'll put a picture right here they did a double darrow kit and they were copying Salvino's jr models but in the future or the past they were in the past Salvino's jr models in the future I don't know, i'm talking out my butt anyways that is what the second version was but this also can help us out with the, this is all i have left of the first version and there's an absolute difference let, 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 let me show you something here so the original version the reason why i have an extra set i i was like i bought a bunch of these and i had to raid the decals out because one thing when you originally built the mountain dew buick is they screwed it up the pinstripe the red pinstriping they didn't i can't remember i think they put it along the top but they didn't put it along the bottom so you had to get another set to cut out the red pinstriping which i did and run it down the bottom i also this one i think this piece and you can see another thing when they came out with the second version great okay you added the missing pinstripes but you made the pinstripes so darn thick the old you look at that compare the original version to the new version it's a lot thinner so i would just raid the pinstripe out i also wanted to do the 81 car and if you notice about the 81 car and we'll show you right here look at this they had a smaller mountain dew this is the hood we'll compare the hoods had a smaller Mountain Dew, 81. This is 82. And just so you guys know, this is how great Daryl Walter is and how great he was with Mountain Dew. He was doing the Dew because he won the championship in both these cars. 81, smaller Mountain Dew, same on the trunk, and the stripe went straight down. So what I had done when I built my my 80 my 81 version, I kind of maneuvered these decals i cut this down i ran i took pieces from this decal here and ran it straight down so i got a little bit of the green you know about that da, 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 who cares anyways that's why i have a little bit left they kind of corrected it but they kind of blew it when they came out with this this one was probably in the late 90s when that double set came out Meh, probably mid to late 90s another thing that i noticed that i always hated about the original was like this and the second version is it had all the contingency decals printed with the green. Not these guys. No way. Not power slide. Not clay. Rick ain't having it. Rick's just not going to have it. We're putting the, putting the contingency decals over here. We're just going to keep that all bare. I like that. So it gives you an option. Because, you know, the cars would come to the track without stickers sometimes, and they'd run practice. You could build a car as it is, at, you know, at practice before the weekend. Options. We like options. But it just looks better. The pinstriping is w- really way more focused in correctly. Beautiful. But that bright, you know, Christmas green, and then we've got metallic green, which this is not correct anytime, whether they ran whether they ran or did not run metallic in that green. It was never that bright. And then also look at that, this ridiculous print. Sometimes they just would put a aluminum blank over the hole for the, for the door, because this is all stock sheet metal. They would pin those cars up with and you had yourself your door handle block out that they just put on the decal sheet they always did that i like this if you want to go that route or if you want to put an actual little piece of detailed up uh you know thin aluminum on there to do your blank out you can you got an option or you got a cool little decal right there that's very chrome looking way better looking than this dark silver pile or whatever anyway that's that this is this we're done with that decal sheet they don't even need this around no more you saw that kind of stuff going on so decal sheets beautiful love it i'm just i'm giddy i'm sorry rambling (laughs) yeah that's very cool to have have that in you're watching the lucas c channel on youtube dun 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 dun, dun. let's look at it i'm gonna open it up what the heck 
we have seen these a ton on this channel and most of you guys you build NASCAR models if you don't you should give them a try these are great kits I'll tell you uh, if you're just getting into the hobby and you just found this channel and thank you for watching um, this is an excellent if you have an interest first of all in NASCAR modeling especially the old stuff and even the new stuff uh, look into the Builders Club. You can go over to salvinosjrmodels.com. It's right. Salvinosjrmodels.com. You got a spot there to look into to see about getting yourself into the club. It's fun. There's a private Facebook group that is absolutely a ball. Everybody posts pictures of what they're working on. And even not just Salvino JR models models. But anything, and it doesn't even have to be NASCAR. It's a model. It's just model cars. It's, throw that on there. So here we go with this. There's our glass. There's that fancy. See what I'm talking about? Them sweeping. Get that sweep there. I got an idea. I'm gonna mess around with to try to bring those back to be flat, and then just put a bubble flare on them. How cool would that be? Then you can get that look right there because I want to do the short track car just oh gosh I just love this body I love that whole look right there and you know their tires I mean it's just a nice kit we've seen it all and there it is another decal sheet down there never have enough they're chrome that you can put a magnet on that's funny I really love how the wheels look with that chrome on them. They just have, especially when you put a little bit of black uh, deep panel liner and stuff in there. It's really cool. And the other thing that you can do is when you go ahead and uh, join the club, you're not only just, just paying for a kit and the shipping. If you want to buy some other kits and have them shipped along with your kit of the month, you don't have to pay extra shipping. So you can snag a few kits off of the uh, website, add it in with your order, and you don't have to pay shipping. How cool is that? that um real quick i do want to show you i'm gonna pull out a body that was injected into the mold back in 1982 i guess it would have been and here's something i've mentioned this before but this is a neat time to check this out the chassis there's a slight difference pop this out here you see how rounded those are this is just a little bit of monogram nascar history they're rounded right there you see how squared off that is? They had to do this when they changed the body style. When they changed up the body style to those more rounded Pontiacs. And I believe they even had to knock a little bit off. You'd see a, a little, not so much rounded when they started doing those Oldsmobiles, those 87 Delta 88. Just had a little bit of round, more roundness than where these things had big bumpers and they were very square. That's a little difference. It doesn't. It doesn't affect your mod at all. That's just a little tidbit I wanted to throw at you. Just cool little model car knowledge educating. I like to knowledge educate you guys about the history of our awesome, awesome hobby. And I also like to, you know, just ramble on. I like BSing. 1982, 2022. Hey, what is that? 82, 92. That's 40 years difference. They look exactly alike. Really nice, but the, what I like about this, this modern, brand new styrene, it's so much better. This is just so hard. I feel like I'm going to crack it if I spread that. Very, very, very monogram plastic was always just really hard. I just like that this is just a little more spongier. You could play around with it stretch it over the chassis pop it on man that is just so cool old one new one same exact thing looking great the uh i would probably rather i would probably rather if i was going to build a buick right now i probably would go ahead and grab this kit and build it store this for later because uh it's definitely just better better styrene anyways that's all i got to say here we go 
So Lino's JR Models, Junior Johnson Racing, 81 Buick Regal, sponsored by Mountain Dew, driven by the great Darrell Waltrip. Love this kit. That's so cool. I've said my piece. I am done. Case closed. We are done. I'm moving on with this. Merry Christmas. You guys have a wonderful Christmas. Have a great rest of your weekend. And, oh, man, this is Christmas week. I have to go shopping. Holy cow. So what we're going to say today right now is go build model cars. Why? Will you tell me why? Let's hear. I'm here. I'm listening. That's right. Because they're fun. Here's the producer's.